Hi there guys and welcome to my channel. It is Karen here with you today and today I am sharing with you a project that I have created for ScrapFX. So today I am actually working in my ScrapFX junk journal and I have picked out some lovely rice paper here which was designed by Neve Bally and I'm going to glue that into my book with some gel medium so that's what I'm doing now. So I've just ripped off my edges to, you know, to make it kind of fit a little bit. And as you can see, I left the little flappy bit over the side there because I wanted to continue on to the other side where the cutout mandala is. So I've glued the excess bits down there as well. So because I've got a few little empty spots, I decided to fill them up with some old book paper collage paper that I bought. Oh, I think from Etsy a long time ago. So that's what I'm doing there. So I'm just using some of the little scrappy bits um, to, to stick that in and around where the mandala is and some on the other side of the page there as well. So because I didn't have enough of the little bits and um, the rest of the paper has got big writing and pictures and stuff on it, I've ripped a page out of my trusty old dictionary and I've glued that in as well with the gel medium. Okay, so once I've got that dry, I'm going to grab a wonderful stencil here from ScrapFX. It's one of the new ones with the circles and the lines in it. I can't remember the exact name of it. You know, I'm terrible with names, but it's really cool. So I've got some Amsterdam acrylic paints there in a white and a soft pink so that I can add that in. So um, now I've got the matching little stamp also obviously from scrap effects and i've just stamped some of that around with my archival and i've got a number stamp here as well that i've just cut in half and again stamped with archival ink so this gorgeous little image that i've got here is pop art penelope um, she's really cool so i'm going to glue her into my page because i think she's awesome and the page has also got a bit of a quote on it. So I've put that on there as well that says, what does it say? What does it say? It says, life is tough, darling, but so are you. All right, so I've also got a little mandala um, silhouette there that I've just stuck in on the side of her head to make it look like she's got a little bit of a hat fascinator happening. And I actually glued that in with some gel medium this time. So yeah, what am I going to do next? I had to have a drink because I just didn't know what I was going to do next. There was no actual plan. So I've got out some of the Dilutions Shimmer Paint there in the gold. Well, it's not gold, it's orange. Um, and I put that in some of the holes of the stamp because um, I thought that would look cool. And now I'm doing her eyes with a bit of Posca pen and some lips. And while I'm doing that, I'm thinking, gee, her eyes look a little bit weird. Um, giving her a gold pearl earring and pearl necklace. So I'm just going to dry those off. And um, now that I've got my black pen, I've realized why her eyes look weird. is because she doesn't have any pupils. So I'm going to color those in. There we go. That looks a bit better. Put in the white catch lights and there she is. Now that looks much better. So now I've got a jelly, um, what is it? A mermaid marker, sorry, <laughs> from Jane Dav Davenport. And um, I've just spread some of the colour around in her hair. And um, I'm just wetting, using, spreading it around with a wet paintbrush. Sorry, that's what I'm doing. So that mermaid marker, I forget what the name of it is. <laughs> and it's got um, a sparkle in it, so it's really quite cool. So I've just extended her hair a little bit and gave her a little bit more of a flick and I've just added in a little bit of Posca to continue on the shadow there. That was another nine dot stamp from ScrapFX <coughs> that I've just stamped on with some white paint. Now I'm doing a little bit of mark making with some Posca pens, a few hashtags, uh, a few crosses. Okay, so now I'm going to pop out this mandala that's here on the side. And I'm just going to do that with some simple black cardstock. There we go. That looks much better. 
So I've actually glued that in with a little bit of art glitter glue. Um, and because I had a little bit too much, I smooshed it onto my girl. So I've had to wipe that off. Um, so I've just got a bit of gold paint here in a fine tip bottle. And I decided to give her some gold highlights in her hair. Um, I'm using a Life of Colour actually white paint pen to draw into um, the, my, the mandala there to add some white highlights in and I must say it's my first time I've used those Life of Colour pens and they are actually really cool. So now I'm going to add a little bit of makeup to my girl with some pan pastels. Um, just roughly a bit of skin colour and a little bit of cheek. There we go. A little bit of gold Posca around the edges. Um, and some white dots. And that's pretty much it. So I really hope you do like my pop art Penelope. I think she looks awesome. And until next time, I will see you later. I'll leave you with some close-ups. Okay. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Okay. See you later. Bye.